Welcome guys, this is a fabulous house. God, there's some beautiful houses here. It's just opposite Currumbin Valley in Pegabine Valley. We're doing this place today to style. Come, follow me. Beautiful high ceilings, glorious space all the way through. Right through, you get more space, more energy, all the way out. These fabulous views. Who wouldn't want to live here, right? It's great. Now we're going to turn this thing around. The furniture's just about to arrive. The owner has some incredible pieces. She used to live in a warehouse in Melbourne, so she's got some excellent vintage pieces. Pieces from her all around the world. All it needs is a bit of softening and a bit of pulling together. But watch as we go through this process. Just got the beautiful leather chairs. Oh my God, do they go beautifully? This is a very rustic home, industrial furniture. What do you do with industrial? You put leather, you put cow hide, you accentuate their leather. Statement, it's outdoorsy, it's country. A lovely throw, just keep the tones there in the, in the throws. Bring the lamp through, a bit of nature from outside, a lovely old day bed that the client had had. It's actually a uh, railway um, luggage carrier, which just looks great with the industrial. The Zoe bias art for a bit of bling, brings in the colours and the stripes. It's a lovely reading area. Carolyn already had this beautiful natural timber, so it's very much the end look at the moment. All we did is add some lamps, the beautiful texture of Bundini cushions with our African shield, and then added a chair to the room with the shell cushion, some more Bandini art to go on the wall, and then our lovely shell artwork here on the wall. Makes for a very unique look. The master. This room is already pretty, but we just amalgamated all the pink. Our client loves pink, so we just brought it to one location. So a buyer can see this is my daughter's room. And you know, the lovely sleigh bag already nods to something very beautiful. All the layers of different pink, we've used different pink, pink accessories, just kept it with the silver, green, and pink, and kept it very pretty and taken the artwork that was in the master and brought it through here to the girls' room. But here they've got some treasures they want to keep. This beautiful mask, but putting it close to a colour that pulls in these colours, giving it a little bit of space so it looks precious. The story of Anne Frank, some beautiful photos and lovely treasures they've got. Go with the period that's in here. beautifully in the black in the house. So made a, a story telling the same things using a very simple palette. The verdigris, the green, the white. We've added a tray for drinks. A little greenery. Get, you need to get something for this bowl here. But it sort of complements this sort of snug area, which, you know, is an evening drink or whiskey or something. Glass of wine at night. That's the kind of feeling we want to evoke here in this space. The raw natural with the hides and the lovely old day bed. The client has a flight school, so it has to be a nod back to the air and the flying. But here's a beautiful old industrial table. And just accessorise it. Remember in your offices, turn the desk around so it's facing the door and not your back to the door. It's bad feng shui. So just making it really simple and this room was the way to go. Basically here we just gathered up everything that had the black accentuations in it. We got a lamp. They already had the side table. We found the lovely rust coloured sheets and nice big doona. Bending cushions, a lovely one here, another one. So this then became like the boys' room. And then we were lucky enough to find artwork that they already had that looked a bit more masculine. This is an old ammunition box. 
but it looks fabulous back with the colours that are in the very sort of aztec -y, um rug on the floor and the old trunk. Lovely outdoor seating areas and honestly, look at this view folks. 